Hello my third grade friends, this is Mrs. Smith here. So today we are doing Unit 3 Lesson 12 Part 1, um, but I have to apologize. I recorded the whole video and I wrote on my page and then I realized that I didn't have the, the right microphone selected, so there was no sound in the whole video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like uncover things as we talk about them, and you can write the things down that I have, um, but that way I don't It'll, I think it'll work fine. So thank you for your patience. Uh, so we're talking about horizontal bar graphs and vertical bar graphs with multi-digit numbers. Um, we, it's really similar to what we did the other day with uh, the bar graphs earlier, but now we're just dealing with bigger numbers. So here we have a uh, spring trip bar graph represented. The number of miles driven by each driver is represented on the graph. So we have our categories, drivers, and our numbers is our, of the miles are down below, starting at zero here on this zero line and then going out in increments of 50 out to about 400. And our drivers are Aaron, Jing, Shahid, and Barbara. And the way that we read how many miles each person drove was we go to the end of the bar and then follow that line down to the number on the, the x-axis down here on the graph. So. I made a little note of how many miles each driver had uh, driven. So Aaron did 300, Jing did 350, Shahid did 250, Barbara went out to 200. Okay. Our first question is how many miles did Shahid drive? And you can answer that because we can see here he went to 250, so we just write 250 miles. Now I'm going through the ones for the horizontal bar graph. You're going to answer very similar questions on your own for vertical, okay? Um, so who drove more miles than, 100 more miles than Barbara? So we look at Barbara's amount, which is 200, and we add 100 to it, and we see that Aaron did 300, and 200 plus 100 is 300, so that's perfect, so we write Aaron. Now... <laughs> Next question, how many more miles did Aaron and Barbara combined drive than Jing? So first we're gonna combine Aaron and Barbara, and 200 and 300 together makes 500, and then we'll make a comparison bar to compare that to Jing who had 350, and then we will subtract 350 from 500, and that is 150 more miles. Okay, next one here. How many more miles did Shahid and Aaron drive compared or combined than Barbara? So then I have Shahid and Aaron combined. Shahid was 250, Aaron was 300, so that combined is 550. Barbara only had 200, so that goes there, and we found the difference, which is 350. Next one here. Um, how many fewer miles did Barbara drive than Jing? So we look, make a comparison bar. Jing gets the big bar with 350, Barbara gets the little one with 200, and that difference, you can probably do that one in your head, is um, uh, 150 fewer miles. And then you can go ahead and think of another question that you could ask based on looking at the graph. So maybe how many miles did the people drive in all, which two drivers drew, drove the least, which two drivers drove the most. All these sorts of questions will make sense. Um, and make sure when you're answering, you include the units, which you can find after the phrase, how many. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and look at this next side here. Um, we're looking at a vertical bar graph. This is describing the number of canned goods at Turner's Market. And I went ahead and I saw, okay, here's the number of cans over here, starting at zero, going up to 700. The types of canned goods, we have peaches, beans, and peas. This bar represents the peaches. It goes up to that 300 line, so I wrote 300 right there. The beans goes up to halfway between the 500 and 600, so I had to ask myself, what's halfway between 500 and 600? 550, right? And then peas, it goes up to the 400 line, so I wrote 400 there. I want you to go ahead and try to answer these questions here on your own and then ask another question that could be answered using the graph. And if you need any help at all, please come see me if I'm your teacher or uh, go talk to your own teacher if 
Do you have a different teacher? And thank you for your patience with me not writing it with you this time. But join me next time when we do part two. All right. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.